Before beginning any project, it is important to do the proper level of risk assessment according to your company's policies. Make sure to isolate pump from all pressure and bleed pressure before beginning to actuate the system. Also, it is important to confirm that pressure has been bled off. After verifying that we have isolated the pump and bled pressure, we'll begin to disassemble the system by loosening the cone nut with a three-quarter drive impact. The segment assembly will relax. A dowel pin will help support the segment assembly as the cone is removed. Screw the T-handle back into the cone nut and remove the cone. Next, remove the segment assembly. Thread the T-handle into the threaded stem of the plug to try and remove the plug by hand. Many times, these will be stuck and require some extra force. We include what we call the Sherlock jack ring that you'll install onto the threaded ring then use the cone assembly to thread down through the jack ring onto the threaded stem of the plug. Use the impact to tighten. This will safely break the plug loose. Loosen the cone nut, remove the jack ring, and now you can safely remove the plug by hand. Always clean, inspect, and grease components before reinstalling. Check for any washing developing above or below the seal surfaces. Make sure to check the top of the plug where the segment assembly rides and also check the threaded stem for any cracking or if that nut may be backing off. Inspection of the seal surface area inside the module is always a great idea as well. We're looking for any kind of evidence of breathing or any migration of fluid past the seal surface. To reassemble the system, start by lubricating the components. We recommend copper coat or equivalent. With a radial seal such as this one, it is important to lubricate the seal, not just the metal parts of the components. Install the plug. With this seal and plug arrangement, an extra step is required. A slide hammer must be used to set the plug properly. Failure to do so will cause the plug to set up too high. This will prevent the segment assembly from reaching the proper stage to generate enough preloading force. It will also make you very susceptible to cap seal failures as the system is not properly preloaded. Next, we'll install the segment assembly. Make sure the dowel pin on the T-handle of the segment assembly finds the hole in the threaded ring to support it while you install the cone. Last, we'll install the cone. Again, be sure to lubricate with a copper coat or equivalent all metal surfaces. It's important to get it started on the threaded stem, then use that three quarter impact, then tighten the cone until there's about a quarter inch gap between the segment assembly and the top of the cone. Next, we'll use a torque wrench to verify 600 foot pounds. Once it clicks, you know you're good. Always remember to set your torque wrench to zero before storing.